fresh off the boat, we made it to Italy. And today we're gonna be taking our first Italian train! We're Keith and Deb, and throughout our travels, we've taken many forms of transportation, including planes, trains, buses, ferries, subways, cars, and last night we hopped on a night ferry from Split to Ancona, Italy. It happened again. We went to the wrong boat. This is our boat, not that one. <laughs> we're still learning. Let's just say it was a very different experience than our last overnight ferry. Surprisingly, we actually did get a pretty good sleep on the floor last night, though. Yeah, just on our towels, That's but great. it was fine. Now we're off to the bus stop because we have a bus to catch in actually 10 minutes, supposedly, according to Google Maps, to go to the train station of Ancona. <laughs> Subscribe to follow along. Trying to figure out how to buy a bus ticket. There's a wee bit of confusion. We made it on the bus, we think it's the right bus because Keith is great with Google Maps. I'd be lost with it. We actually could have taken a number of buses for all of them. We're going to the uh, Station that starts with an F. Anyhow, the bus station, the main station. They all go there, I think. So, anyhow, we got one of us, one of the buses, and we got one ticket. We don't have enough change for two. Yes, that's one more. One more. Okay. To the train station. Woo, what time to spare, which means our first Italian coffee is definitely oh, coming good. this morning. <laughs> so I'm so happy to say we are early. We know where our platform is. We have like a good hour and 15. So we can chill. It's actually a beautiful temperature. We're in Italy. I am so happy. Also excited. Also, it's Latin language. languages too, so I can sort of get the gist of it. <laughs> Which is nice, to not understand Croatian at all. Very small, but quaint train station. And there's a coffee shop right there, so... Let's that's get some espresso. Step. Oh yeah! Snack time for Keith and Deb. There's a big line in the coffee shop. We're still gonna get a coffee, but we're both hungry. More like apple peaches, but Crunchy. still yummy. I'm tired now. <laughs> well, we need the caffeine. But for you. Oh my gosh. This hot water. <laughs> This is amazing! I was like, he got up to throw out his peach pit and I was like, where did he go? Oh, wow! Coffee for you. It's Italian coffee. Due cappuccini, una tazza di agua calda. Did they understand what you said? Yes, because she spoke in English. Oh. <laughs> well, come drink coffee with me. Oh, I'm excited. Sate. First Italian coffee. That's really good. Mmm. Bellissimo. Mm. Bellissimo, ah, mamma. Mia. <laughs> oh, that is excellent. A big plus of travel days is nice coffees are well deserved. <laughs> For sure. What are you grabbing, Debbie? Handy dandy Tupperware. Oh, yeah, because we're making oatmeal in the train station. You just ask for hot water. Good to go. We got two kinds of oatmeal. We're gonna mix them natural and chocolate. Oatmeal at the train station. We haven't told you where we're going. We're going to Roma. What? We're gonna go see a friend I haven't seen in 11 years, Gabriele Spacanti and his family. Met him in Lisbon when I used to live there and uh, kept in touch. But back to the trains. Right, uh, we're taking the Trenitalia train, which is a train line, which is a four hour train from Ancona to Rome. 
So we booked second class tickets, which means we don't have reserved seats. It was 20 euros for each of us. So which 40 euros cheap. total, which is awesome. So we'll see what it's like and hopefully we can get seats together, which we have 15 minutes till our train. So we should probably go to our platform. Okay. Thor platform two, cool. There was, um, there was this poster billboard electronic billboard at the ferry terminal that told us which platform we had to be on. Ahead of time, which is so awesome. So we really knew a while ago. Because our last train that we took in Prague, the platform didn't come up until like 10 minutes before our train. We so didn't know where to go. Really But scary. it was easy. This is a very simple train station. <laughs> which we did. And Ancona, and this little underground tunnel is simple as pie. Beautiful, too. Oh, it says our thing right here. Roma Termini at 905. I think we can go on. The door There's a lot of seats available. We don't know where This one, okay. So, there might be more people that come on this train with us, but right now we have our own little compartment. We're gonna put our bags up here, and then it looks like we have space. Pretty simple, but nice. I know the reason we love these bags. Look at that, tucked away. Pretty comfortable. Yeah, no, not bad it's at all. It's pretty good. Good overhead compartment mm -hmm. size or some hooks. Mm -hmm. Especially if we can. have this compartment to ourselves, which could get really busy, mm -hmm. but you can put your feet up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch yeah. across. We also found there's a, a plug to plug in your electronics, and apparently it's three prong, but you can use it as two. That's why I just learned something new. Don't you just love looking at Google Maps and seeing that little blue dot that shows you your location? It's pretty cool. Also, yeah, we're going across all of the width of Italy. On Kona to Rome, we go from one coast to the next, which is pretty exciting. We're moving like right on time. My watch Amazing. is a minute fast, and it's exactly the time. Wow. Little update. The guy just came by, didn't take our tickets yet, but told us we did have to wear masks. So masks are mandatory here we have. So okay. We're going back on. We're also gonna take a little sleepy break because we're both a bit tired. We slept in the ferry, but we're tired. Always a bit hard breathing underneath the mask and a bandana. Anyhow, you can't recline these seats, but you have these little cushions, which is pretty good. And there's a lot of leg room if there's no one in front of you. So you can sleep. <laughs> Got a bit of shut eye there. I just want to mention having a buff and some earplugs makes a big difference and is a very good travel tip. Mm -hmm. Always have those around. This buff is for your eyes, of course. Also, we've been on the train just for, for an hour, hour and, and a half, half. And we, they still haven't checked our tickets, so I'm not sure when that happens. It could be one of those things where they don't check your ticket, but then if they do check and you don't have a ticket, then you get a big fine. Yeah, we'll see. Know. Okay, time for a bit of a bathroom tour. Okay, so there's a door that locks. It's pretty compact in here. There is soap, there's a nice toilet, but it's sort of clean, a pedal to flush, a window for the breeze, there's some paper towel. It's pretty good, and a good sized mirror. Oh. You know, it's a pretty decent bathroom. It's actually surprisingly good. I didn't think it'd be this clean. Only a trickle of water, though. By the way, just by the doors too, there is storage for bikes and other things like that. Very practical for big suitcases or things you're carrying on a wheelchair maybe or strollers.
We're about 40 minutes from Rome and the train is now full. So lots of people have gone home. More people? But yeah, getting close. There's been some nice views. Gone by quickly. Mm -hmm. We are arriving into Rome, already one stop at Tiburtina, which is one of the stops in Rome. Um, we're going to Rome Termini, which is right downtown. But yeah, it's been pretty good. Hey, look. Big time. <laughs> and grocery bag for your food. Thank you. Woo! Yeah. We made it to Rome. It is bright, wow. it is sunny, and we are here. That's amazing. Woo! We always wanted to come to Rome. Very easy train ride, super relaxing. Nice and sunny, beautiful weather. Train ride was good. Went by really fast. Comfortable seats, pretty standard, pretty simple. Went so, well. we'll see you in our next video when we explore Rome. Gotta go meet our townie friend. Thanks for watching. Ah, traveling with Evan is not easy. You guys try that. Jesus. Just getting there very now. I'm not gonna use that. The guy was literally like, no, this is not your boat. Oh my goodness. But it's fine. I mean, it's funny because we waited in line for like an hour and then we pop out and there's no direction. No one to tell you where to go. You're not allowed to throw bottles at the window. So if you're thinking mm -hmm. of throwing bottles at the window, don't. It's no not allowed. <laughs>